Hey, it's Jody, and we are on day eight for May I Scrap Lift You, and today we are scrap lifting the fabulous Moira Riley, and she has a super cute grid type layout that I absolutely loved. There was something simple about it, but something so fun. I really, really loved the original. I um, have been working on uh, my, gr um, well, my grandparents, sure, why not? My um, husband's grandparents, a little album for my mother-in-law, actually. So I have two of these pictures, one of each. Um, it is, I believe, 1981. I need to write that down somewhere. And, um, yes, so, uh, and I made all the pictures black and white in this album, so it really wouldn't matter what collection I used, and, um, I'm really, really loving that. I think it's a great idea, because you never know what's gonna, you know, what's gonna strike your fancy, and of course, the whole thing needed to be pulled down a little and I didn't do it it is totally not even in the center so I'm sorry Mora. I um I completely overlooked that I think I was too worried about getting it in the middle up and down that psh, the 12 by 12 <laughs> didn't even matter but you know what eh, I don't mind I actually thought about doing a little stamping at the bottom, but I said, nope, nope, nope. I just went for it. Now, I am using the fabulous Color Study by Vicki Bootman. This is a bright and beautiful collection. It does have a lot of um, creative, creativity items, but um, it has so so much more than just you know pencils and paints that um I definitely tried to make work I am um, I will be honest I am not a cluster master I, I mean I'm not even close for some reason either I'm on or I am completely off with my clusters and I think a little bit is I th I'm thinking about it too much I don't know I don't know I I don't know but Moira seems so um put together and just oh something here something there and it just worked and I'm like, I don't know, does that go there? Am I supposed to show the whole thing? Is it okay to tuck behind? And then I decided to put this super cool um, dot stamp just, you know, as a starting point. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, those little corners are completely empty. Where do I start? Um, so yes, so that's where I started. And then I thought I'd pick some florals and the cute little birds, but that one was looking the wrong way, right? You don't want it to look off the page. But now the yellow one is having a peek at Paw Paw Charlie. So I kind of like that there. And I just go through everything. I, um, I definitely bought all the things in this collection. I mean... I have a whole other ephemera pack that hasn't even been opened, the puffy stickers that haven't been opened, and the other ephemera pack that I think I've used two or three times and still have so much of it. So yeah, this is like the collection that keeps on giving, and I think it, it really can be versatile. Now that one was a huge giant flower. I forgot what color the flower was, but I obviously didn't use the leaf part, but I'm gonna use them this time, heck yeah. 
So yeah, I think that's the fun part about ephemera and die cuts and embellishing is don't be afraid to make them work for you. Uh, you want to cut it in half, cut it in half. You just want that part of a flower or those words, go for it. Now, it took me a minute, but I did figure out that Moira had a second layer on the those corner pieces. Um, it's very subtle in the, her original, but I was like, yeah, I'm so glad I... Um, I spot I spotted them because now it gives me another layer to work with and I thought I bring in some of that pretty green oh, it's so pretty now Moira's original does not have anything on the picture corners um, but I I added some flowers to Momo and then I added you make the world more colorful um, sticker tab above papa just because I wanted a little something <laughs> it's so hard to leave things blank and left alone I promise you I'm working on it but um, I think that it I think it works I think it works you do you right so here I go, I add those little flag corners and I'm ready to stick some things down. I, I don't think I end up using that yellow flower. No, I don't. I really like the butterfly and that um, green with little berries. That's just like a piece of something, so yeah. I'm trying to figure out if I have enough things to fill it up. I'm like, I don't know. Let's go for it. Look at my fingers are like, what else can I do? What else can I put? I'm happy with that corner. The butterfly, the flower, the leaves and the berries. I'm going to pop up the little bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I would love to have some pet birds. I remember, I don't, I don't know how old I was, but my aunt, my aunt Jessie, I, I like pet sit it for her. She had two little little birds, and I thought they were the sweetest thing ever. I loved them, but well, no one ever got me a pet bird, so, <laughs> so I feed all the birds. <laughs> that come to my house the hummingbirds the woodpeckers the finches oh yes I am a bird person <laughs> I can't believe I I admitted that I love me some birds okay what else did I found I found another die cut that I had chopped up that I'm going to use some green leaves I'm just gonna stick it where it's a little empty I love that the polka dots are still peeking out on that left side and now Morris has a little um, title so I went ahead and added one and that's it I'm happy with it even though it's not in the center <laughs> thank you so much for Crystal Barrett for hosting may I scrap lift you and thank you so much Moira for all your inspiration please give me a thumbs up hit subscribe and hop along thank you so much bye bye now